The Tucson Film Office was uh, were, were the people that reached out to the city of Nogales. I got a call from the city of Nogales about a movie company wanting to shoot a movie in downtown Nogales. Everybody was very happy. Matter of fact, uh, all the business uh, uh, downtown merchants were very supportive of it. Uh, the residents from the county, our three supervis supervisors in the county, very supportive of that. Sheriff's Department, I've talked to Sheriff Estrada. He enjoyed it very much. Our police chief, all of our officers here, everybody was very happy on it. And it was very exciting to see the people with a positive attitude welcoming the, the actors, the producers, the whole crew. The experience for the community was, it was something that we were not expecting to be so positive. Nogales has been through a lot in the last four years um, with the recession and I would characterize it as a depression in Santa Cruz County and Nogales and I think this is really one of the most positive things that's happened here since 2008. Um, I think in my estimate as a merchant I, I guess they probably spent about a million and a half dollars in our community. They paid us for the time that, that they were filming. Um, they paid my extra staff. Um, I have a, a, a small warehouse that's very adjacent to downtown that they use for their commissary. Our business was up at least about 14% for each of the, I think it was three weeks they were down there making the movie and they came a little bit early too. And then, but once the film crew left and since a lot of people that were working on the movie were living here in Tucson, they found out about the store. So business has stayed up. They were using hotels, they were using gas stations, restaurants, dry cleaners. So it was a, a, a variation of businesses that were used and that was creating uh, jobs directly and indirect. Uh, technicians in our business can earn $65,000 to uh, $80,000 a year on a, on a reliable basis. Um, in addition to all of the other benefits of having film and television here, these are good jobs. These are the jobs that allow us to pay our mortgages, to pay our state taxes, uh, the jobs that allow us to help our children and our grandchildren get through college. The third production I did was Hangover 3, which was the most rewarding because I've never worked on set of a major feature film. So that was amazing experience. So ultimately we end up taking our tax dollars, all of our energy, including the training that we give to these kids from the professional level and they're forced to leave the state. Well I'm not staying in Arizona because there aren't as many opportunities. Yes the U of A has opened up a wide variety of opportunities to make connections with outside productions that come in but you know there just aren't that many productions available for me to grow as a professional. What I'm, what I'm desperately trying to avoid is, is, to, is to have to move to New Mexico or to New Orleans like several of my Arizona friends have been forced to. Uh, they've left their families, they've left their homes uh, to work on the television series in New Orleans. There's three series shooting in New Mexico right now, for example. And they pay New Mexico's uh, uh, income tax. They pay Louisiana income tax. I have a business in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and I see the impact that the films industry is having on that state and I think to myself, why is this not happening in Arizona? We are closer to Los Angeles. We've got better weather than them, better scenery. These movies should be shot in Arizona. We support and we would like to see more incentives for this industry so they can come to, to Arizona. Not only because this is it's something good, having the world know about the communities in the state, but also because of the revenues, the job creation, the impact that the industry has among all the communities.